The Missile Defense Agency's sea-based X-band radar has played an important role in the missile defense system since 2006. The SBX is an advanced, highly precise X-band radar mounted on a mobile, ocean-going, semi-submersible platform and is a vital mid-course sensor for the missile defense system. The idea for SBX stemmed from a decision in 2002 to utilize the X-band radar on a ship. Its foundation is a bare deck platform built for potential use in the oil industry, which was towed to Brownsville, Texas, where it was converted to support the missile defense mission. After a series of tests and trials, the vessel made the trip to Hawaii in preparation for service in 2005 and began operations the next year. In December 2011, it was transferred to the U.S. Navy. SBX was originally a test asset, but is now a critical national resource with the radar playing an important defensive role protecting the United States against ballistic missiles. SBX is one of several Homeland Defense missile tracking radars within the ground sensor architecture. The radar acquires, tracks, and discriminates the flight characteristics of ballistic missiles in space, providing precision discrimination and hit assessment data to the missile defense system. The in-flight interceptor uses this data to hone in the target. SBX can obtain tracking and discrimination information on an in-flight threat missile and discriminate between the missile warhead and any countermeasures that may be coasting alongside it. SBX creates decision space for national leaders by providing information to decision makers and improving their ability to assess threats. Larger than a football field, the main deck houses the X-band radar, crew living quarters, workspaces, storage, power generation, and bridge and control rooms. As you might expect, it takes a dedicated team from multiple agencies and organizations to manage and operate it. In addition, the SBX team works in partnership with Warfighting Commands, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, and U.S. Northern Command in support of their missions. Let's take a look at how SBX operates and tracks missiles. To track a ballistic missile, SBX responds to an external queue and puts up search fences based on launch information. Once a missile is identified, SBX performs discrimination to sort out the boosters and debris from the lethal reentry vehicles. All tracking data and information is sent to the missile defense system. Once system operators launch the interceptors, SBX continues feeding discrimination and tracking information to guide the interceptors to the target. In addition to its role in tracking missiles, SBX can also observe the intercept and report on whether the intercept was successful. One clear advantage of the mobile SBX vessel when compared to other ground-based homeland defense radars is its capability to change locations within the broad ocean area of the Pacific based on world events. Together, with space and ground-based assets, the SBX is an important component of the United States homeland defense architecture. The SBX is deployable for long periods of time. When the radar is in port, the team performs maintenance and system updates. The longest mission duration for SBX is nearly two years of continuous time at sea. Over the years, numerous platform and mission system modifications and enhancements have been made to the radar. These efforts improve the vital capabilities of SBX in defending the homeland. As of October 2022, SBX has traveled over 108,000 nautical miles in support of 96 tests and operational missions over the last decade of service. In the years ahead, SBX will continue to be an invaluable test asset and a critical sensor in the missile defense system to protect our homeland against missile attack.